Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I'll be uploading this video Monday night. It's Money Making Monday. Let's get started. As most of you know, I'm a mystery shop scheduler. That means I schedule people to do mystery shopping. I schedule for two companies, New Image Marketing and Primo Solutions. One does retail, one does apartment and senior homes, and I'm an independent contractor for both of those companies. They, both of those companies are excellent companies to work with. There are other companies out there. There's a lot of mystery shopping companies. My question to you is how many of you would like to be a mystery shop, shopper scheduler or mystery shopping scheduler? And below I'm going to put some information on a company that is looking for a mystery shop uh, a mystery shopping scheduler and they will also train you which is really good so I wanted to tell you a little bit about what a scheduler does very briefly and in my opinion some pros and cons of the job so you have a little heads up of what it is you guys know what a mystery shop is you're critiquing service and getting paid to do so you can do all different kind of shop from retail bank apartments senior homes you know restaurants fast food all different kinds of things. I just touched on just a few. Some are recorded, some are non-recorded. As a mystery shopping or shopper scheduler, you will schedule and work with the valued mystery shoppers. And the job is, is that you get the jobs completed, do a good job, and that the client is pleased with the work that you're doing. That's basically what you're doing. They usually give you a time limit to get the job done and clients have time limits to when they're doing training with employees and such. Now, when you're a mystery shopper scheduler, the pros are, which I have found for me, I'm an independent contractor. There's some people out there that actually are an employee for the company, but most schedulers I know are an independent contractor, which so the benefit of that is, number one, the big benefit is you have flexibility of when you work. So, for example, if you want to take an exercise class from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you can do that. Um, you just work around it and uh, then you can work when you're available to work as long as you get your projects and your work done. Those are the benefits of it. So the main benefit that I have found for me is flexibility. The other benefit is you get to work from home. The other third benefit that I forgot to write down is that if you wanted to go out of town for a weekend, you could take your work with you if you needed to. Which brings me to the downside. The big downside to scheduling mystery shopping is that you are always on call. In other words, it could be you're sitting down to have dinner with your family. Sometimes you might want to turn the phone off so you have some quiet. You can get calls anytime, day or night, with the shopper that has a question. And you do want to be able to be available for shoppers much of the time uh, because you don't want a question to go unanswered and then a shop not getting done. That's the only downside to it that I have found. And sometimes deadlines can be a little bit stressful. But I always recommend that people do some mystery shopping first before they want to be a scheduler. And below, I am going to put the link of what company is looking for a scheduler right now and they also like I said will train you which is really great because a lot of companies out there don't do that but they're going to work with you now a lot of people will ask Dawn what do schedulers get paid well to be totally honest with you each company is different some pay hourly which those are usually employees some pay per completed shop and it depends if they're shops that you can self accept or if the scheduler has to accept. It depends on the shop and the, and the difficulties or challenges of the shop on what it pays. So mystery shop schedulers can make some good money, but you do have to put work into it. So because the, the income can really differ, I won't say what the income is at this time because it depends on the company and what kind of project you're scheduling for. I hope that this information, I know it's kind of a quick video, has given you at least a little bit of information to see if this might be something you can you know, do. You can, I know, do this from home, and uh, most of the shops that I've scheduled have been either in the United States 
or Canada. I have not worked outside those areas at this time. So below, I'm going to put the link, and I'm going to also put a website where they do put some leads some, from time to time for looking for schedulers and editors. Now, if you're not interested in mystery shopping or scheduling mystery shops, you could contact the company and ask if they're looking for editors as well. Anyway, sorry, I'll sum this up by saying, any questions, contact the company that I put in the description below. This is Money Mom signing off, and I'll see you Tuesday. Love you. Bye.